happy Monday. It's for networking with everybody out there right now. And uh, I'm going to go right in with networking because I got my many guests on today that I want to give them as much time as they can to talk. Uh, my first guest is Jim Dunning. And Jim, you are the owner of Delta Consulting Alliance. Tell everybody a little bit about you, okay? But what you do and what you've done for the smaller folks out there that are in business. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> yeah, my name is uh, Jim Dunning. I'm the principal and founder of Delta Consulting Alliance. Uh, my passion in life these days are bringing big time consulting to small co companies. And uh, I have a background in dealing with uh, large companies and small companies and um, a lot in FDA regulated business, but also in the general business environment. And um, I've been doing this for about 20 years and focusing on the small companies uh, a little less than that, but uh, that's my love now. Now, I got to ask you, because before we came on, we were talking about something called Straight Shot. What is that? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. I'm so excited so, uh, to what, find out. It's what we're here to talk about. So Straight Shot, and it's written really funny. You've seen it written in front of you. It has the number eight in it. So capital S, T, R, the number eight, and S, H, O, T. So real proud of that. I think it's great, but what does it mean? But what does it mean? So straight shot is is trying to take the um, all the fluff out of uh, uh, solutions to common problems that small businesses have, that anybody business has, but especially small business. So straight shot is a is going to be a series of uh, products that solve a single problem, that are do it yourself, uh, or do it yourself with some assistance and that are affordable solutions for the small business. And what's really cool about Straight Shot, it's really aimed at the solopreneur or the ultra small business. So that's me. That's you. Okay. So when you typically, when you go to a big consulting firm and you're looking to get a, solve a problem, and, and let's say for example, just for, or not example, for illustration, you wanna move a chair out of your business to another business, right? And you need some tool to do that. The big consulting companies will bring in a semi truck, and uh, that that satisfies the need, but it's harder to operate, right? And I don't need this big big uh, semi truck to move my one little chair over, and so I'm just doing an analogy. What we would do is bring in a small little truck like a Ford Ranger or something, and then you can drive get the chair to it. Okay. So it's doing the same thing, but it's taking all the extra things that you don't need out, and it's really focusing on a single problem. Uh, you know, the, the, the product is on a single problem. So let me tell you what our first one is, okay? Yeah, yeah I want to hear. So the first straight shot that we've done is called the business organization system. That's what I see here. What is that? So a business organization system is the framework for what you're operating your business. So let me, a lot of small uh, businesses will find that they need something and then they do it. So let's say I need to make, I'm a new business and I need to invoice someone. Right? Well, I don't have an invoice, uh, so I make up an invoice and I put that out. And now I have that. But I don't know where to keep that invoice. When I need to invoice another one, I put it, I, I, I make it, I find it. I, I don't really have a system, a system around doing that. Um, I need to do training on myself to keep current in what I'm doing. I don't have a, Straight Shot gives you a system where you can document that easily, right? Wow. What are my practices and policies and how are we going to do it? But not without all these, it's not all of these um, big things that you're not running into yet as a, a small system. You know, even people who are working remotely at their home office now and are trying to keep organized and get things done while they're, they're feeding the babies and doing that other stuff, this can even work. In, in that kind of environment. So listen up everyone, and I don't know how all of you feel, but I know how I feel. I'd be feeling it today. Unorganized, a little bit confused and a little bit intense mm -hmm. because I am trying to get it all done. I am the mom that has the, you know, taking care of all of the things and doing all of that too. And so um, the people out there that are listening that are small entrepreneurs that are, maybe you're a solopreneur, Listen up, everyone, because this is something that's very, very important that we, too, need organization skills, but uh, systems. Because I keep on saying that word,
But it's like, okay, well, system, what system? You have created, and you came right into my life on the per perfect day today <laughs> to tell me this because that's what it is. I keep on saying, well what, well, what systems? How do I make a system? Right. You know, how do I tell myself how to do that? Go ahead. Yeah, so, so this, this gives the structure for us, uh, for you and for everyone to say, okay, what's my business? How am I going to do that? We have some pre-existing or pre-established uh, things that we've done. We've gone all over all these years trying to take the best of and simplify it as much as possible so that it works for, for you. So that uh, you know you don't have to spend hours and hours a day trying to keep organized. So one of the things it, it's broken into five sections. We call it drink, D R I N. Because I could use one. D. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna feel like it <laughs> if you're not organized. D R I N K. But the K is really a C. So we cheated there. Okay. But drink. I like it. Right? Yeah, I like it. So drink uh, documentation. That's the first thing. So. You know, we have documents, and of course the people can't see. I have little folders for stuff. Instead of keeping it on my desk temporarily, I just keep it in, a, I have folders by months. So in November, six days, I have, you know, an inch full of papers that would normally be on my desk. But documentation is uh, what are our procedures, our policies, any kind of forms that we're using. So those things I were talking about before, like the invoice, that goes into a documentation part of this. You have a place, you can go to one place and, and get this. And it's not, and it can be manual and uh, electronic. So some people work manually, right? They might not have stuff on the computer and doing it. Uh, there's not a lot of systems out there that are addressing that now. We consider that. And, but then also you can do this electronically. So like the thing of having a folder to put a document. I mean, have you ever been on a, your computer and you've got some document that you got, an insurance rec, uh, thing or an invoice or something and you think, man, I don't know where to put it or where am I going to file it? Or, or how am I going to find this it? Will give, you how am I going to find it, it find it again? And you don't, and you don't want to spend your time doing that, but th uh, these systems give you a place you can do that, temporary storage and then moving on and, uh, and how they're organized. And we do the same thing with records. So the difference between documentation and records, records are typically something you're signing, right? A form you're filling out or some application or something. Um, the I stands for internal audits. Most of these uh, of us as small people aren't going to get internal audits, right? Small businesses. It, uh, you might get an, uh, an account, accounting kind of audit, but from a quality system or operating systems, you don't do internal audits typically. But there's big value in that. So we have a self-assessment kind of thing that you can do to look at your organization and keep you on track. I know a lot of people that right? are worried about getting those audits and they should be, if they were on track, God forbid that happened, let's say even the IRS wanted to call them. Am I correct on that? Well, if the IRS called, at least you'd be organized. So exactly. your, your accountants or your bookkeepers might help. This works for anybody is your my book, point. Your bookkeeper might help, might be happy because you can find the stuff. some people don't have those either. Because you don't have it in a shoe box or, or right. what have you. So yes, this would make it, make it easier. The other two, the N is for non-conformances. And you know, we all hate to say this, but not everything works perfectly every time. And sometimes we find that we have something that doesn't work in either internally, say, no, I can't, I can't, I got to redo this, or externally a customer complaint. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get this K, which equals a C, when we, <laughs> when we come back, okay? Perfect. But here's what I want to do. I want to open up the lines for everybody to get entered into when, uh, this is a program that you're going to get. It's the system that they're talking about, and it comes along with three sessions of consulting. And it doesn't matter how, much, how the size of your business. Tiny like me, one person, two on up. Uh, it's a $1,000 uh, value free to you or anyone you know. Our number here, 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Check them out. It's deltaconsultingalliance.com. Call in here. I think everybody should have it. Now, I know that we get, we're going to go back, once you talk about the C, we'll go back and talk mm. about some of these and how they work well for the small person, too. Is yeah. that okay? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Done a little differently than the other ones. <laughs> yeah, done a little differently. Yeah, but it's kind of cool. I like this straight shot. And then you got the drink. I like that. Mm -hmm. Now I see what you meant by this. I was looking at it going, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that you want to tell the audience right now that is watching us there? 
Oh my gosh, I didn't think about the audience watching us there. Yes, we do have them watching us. What <laughs> would you think? For me, let's talk about that now. I mean, for the small person like me, the small Joe that is that single uh, person out there, uh, this system, so far two things, the third thing, where of the INC comes into play for someone like me? Where of uh, the DRINC yeah. or yeah. the INC? The INC of the DRINC. The INC. So, <laughs> so it, internal audits. I mean, you, you're typically not going to be doing that, but you would want to do self-assessment. So, how do you ask yourself, uh, how are you doing, right? And this system will give you a systemic way to do that. Wow, I love and, that. And uh, yeah, what am I going to evaluate? What's important to me? Am I keeping on track? Oh, Is I what's, love on, that. what's the organization's results? What's working or not working? What has to be changed? We're going to talk about that when we get back because that's really important. Yeah. I think those, these are good things, but this is important. Well, they are very important, right? And uh, the ends, you know, when things don't work, you have to use every, every non-conformance. I, I don't want to say failure, but every time something doesn't work, you want to use it to your advantage, right? Let me make a big learning out of this thing. And by documenting it and having a systemic approach, to how you address that will 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 help you do that. Yeah, I agree. Stop. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I know smoke comes out of my ears a lot when I'm thinking. Well, you usually hear my grinding. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing comes out of my ear, does it mean I'm not thinking? No, it just yep. means you're yep. you're yep. you're. Yep. you're <laughs> 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 Just thought I would ask that <laughs> question. <laughs> I'll teach you for asking So welcome back everyone, us small people, the small entrepreneur, the, the uh, solopreneur, which you call, that's who I am, uh, people who are uh, right now have started businesses, some of you are trying to figure things out as we're going along right now, um, our lines are open here for people to get what we're calling this straight shot, STR8, the number 8, so STR8 shot. This is a business organization system, and it, it, we're using the um, if it, if the word affirmins, is that the correct word? Uh, D-R-I, and, and instead of K, it's C. And at the break, we've been talking a little bit about the I-N-C part of the drink, and there's a lot of things. Don't think this is not for you. They are, because, and we'll talk about that. But right now, I want to leave the lines open for everyone to call throughout the rest of the show to get in on this. It's a, you're getting the, it's a system for free. And also, you, it comes along with three sessions of consulting from them to help you along the way with this. And it's a $1,000 value free to you or anyone you know. Our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. And I'm going to let everyone call throughout the rest of the show. Jim, you've been doing this for 20 years. And, you know, the words that you use are for the big bu big businesses. And and yet that's where we're going to have to come down and, and get it to be so that people understand, like, we you said the word um, internal audits, right? But a lot of us would say, well, I don't need that, so I just don't have to do that. Well, that's not true. Why did you say they needed it? Well, I said they need it because that's your feedback uh, to yourself about how is your business doing. So you and should be doing it on your own self is the point, right? Yeah, you can do a, in this case, you can do a self-assessment and have a systemic way to do that. So a frequency or it can be milestone or triggered in other ways. But how often do you do it? What do you do? Do you have the tools to do it? Will you be able to compare apples to apples from one audit? So from one self-assessment to the other, and you will, and it's going to give you information and let you know, hey, how are you doing? I mean, how many times do we stop from the daily world um, and take a look at how are we really doing uh, with what we're supposed to be doing? I'm going to tell you guys out there right now, every year, 
at the uh, it's either December or January that I do that assessment on myself. Mm -hmm. This is what he's talking about. This this system that he's going to let everybody get entered into when to get this for free from him, which a thousand dollar value is going to give you systems in place. So with the you know exactly when you're doing that, and you know the questions to ask yourself, and then not only that things to incorporate into it to make it better. Am I correct? Exactly. There you go, guys. It's awesome. We, our number here is 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Um, you know, uh, you talked about the N, the non-conformance. Conform what the heck is that? So let's say that I, if I'm making any service. We can take my service. Let's say that um, I, I want, let's say I was pu releasing the drink system, the organization, and we went through uh, 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 the final check of this, and we found out that, boy, it, we didn't make what we thought we did. There were some errors in it or some, uh, something that we don't want to do. Well, we're going to go fix that, but this, the, 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 the end, the nonconformance, gives me a way to count that. Because I tend to think everything I do is great and I forget all the bad things, right? But the nonconformance kind of kind of brings up that, that, that we had this issue and that what did we, what are we going to do to what make it What did we do the, wrong and what, what how do we make it right? How, how do we, you know, at least correct this thing, right? Right. And maybe if it's only one thing that I've done that goes out, I'm not gonna take put a whole lot of effort on it. Uh, uh, I'm going to make the correction, you know, the fix to that, and then it's going to go out, and and it's going to be fine. But let's say that over time I have two or three of these kinds of things happening, and then I I want to go on and say, well, what can I do to prevent this thing and things like it? And that's what the C or the the a kappa is: corrective and preventive action. And uh, I have a visual way of seeing it. I like to say, let's say that you have a problem, you have cockroaches in your organization, and you want to you want to yeah, because isn't that a pretty picture? So corrective action, a lot of people get this wrong. Y'all don't know Jim yet, so. <laughs> but, you know, you step on the cockroach and you want to squish your foot into it so it sticks on the bottom of your shoe and you know that this cockroach is dead. But, oh, that's not enough. They may have families and others in there, yeah, so maybe you want to spray forever. and get those things kind of out. So my point is on this silly uh, uh, analogy is that it takes a lot of effort to really do that, right? I, um, and and uh, so you want to be committed. So that's what the nonconformance kind of feeds into this. It tells me as the organization leader, this is something that I, I need to work on. So because it's that something that I need to fix, I'm going to go all out and fix this problem and kill the cockroach dead. You know, I I love that. I also want to add, you know, say the, when you first came on, before you were coming on, we talked about another analogy. And what was that? About your wife said, if you want to be happy, you're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was having an argument with my wife, first mistake, right? But um, uh, she looked at me and she said, Jim, do you want to be ha right or do you want to be happy? That's right. And I thought it, it caused me to short circuit. And uh, I thought, you know, I thought being right was being happy because that means, you know, everything's going your way. No, I've learned there that, uh, you know, being happy is better. But. I'm going to use it right here in this. You can use it here, right? The, exactly. Because here's the thing, you know, um, and I know a lot of us that are in business and you're a small person like me, you know, it, it's it's hard to do. It really, really is. And there's days that you are happy and there's days that you're not. And if you're not doing things right, you're actually more, you're, you're doing things, you're not happy than when you are doing it. And that is what you've done, is you've brought something to the people out there, like me, to for them to use to help them be more right in their business so that they can be happy and grow. It, yeah, it, exactly. It allows you to put your focus where your talents, your special talents is the thing. Most people don't get into business to create the business framework and run that, And right? instead of hiring other people to do it, it's a system that we use that you've created. Yeah, and also it's going to help you if you do hire. And that's okay too. Okay. Right, but 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 yeah, you can do things yourself, but it's it's not, you know, it's not going to cure everything, but it's going to help you be organized. It's going to help the business be organized. And when your business is organized, and you, let me tell you, you will do better. Well, yeah, otherwise it's a hobby. Well, you know, if your business isn't organized, it becomes a hobby, right. and it pays like a hobby. 
Right, and that's when the IRS finally says to you, what are you doing? Is it a business or a hobby, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, honestly, though, that's the truth, though. Think about it. And it could be any business that we're talking about, small or large, but you've really kind of brought it down to someone like me, the solopreneur or the smaller pet people out there. And what a great time that you're on right now. I know this whole thing is coming out in January, but that we've got people that are calling in that you get to call in throughout the rest of the show for this and to get in on it new first one to get in on it. It's a thousand dollar value free to you or anyone you know. You get three sessions of their consulting also to help you along with it. 602-277-5369. Toll free it's 1-866-536-1100. I was going to say, I know I've talked a lot, but I have to. <laughs> I mean, but I, I, I want to say this too. What a great time to be on right now because you know, uh, with COVID, so many people have started their own business. They're home now. They're trying to figure it all out and they're not, it's hard. It's hard to not have something that can help you, give you ideas of what to do. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I, I agree. And I know a lot of, uh, you know, for those professionals out there that are working with bigger companies and uh, the bigger firms are trying to do things to support them, right? But this is something you can use yourself uh, anyway. as, as well in there if you're trying to you know, even, uh, you know, keep your desk free, organize your time, focus on the things that are important to you, help you help that company because we're all under extra stress right now. It's more important now than than ever. It's always been super important, but now it's even more important because, you know, we, we've got so many other things kind of uh, and, and it's us. one of those things, too, that even if you, you know how you might say, okay, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to and you don't ever get to it or you might try and get to it <clears throat> but you don't finish it right and there's and there's because you don't really know what you're doing right and so this gives you that system that what to do how to do it where to go with it where to put it all that kind of stuff and um, again too when I say this now so many businesses that have started at new businesses it's a great time now to be so organized because maybe when you do to go to your accountant they're going to be pretty proud of you that you're so you know organized but also for yourself get rid of this year move on and get yourself organized for this next new york year yeah right? I, I can't agree more I mean you know how it is when you clean out your your closet or your garage or right, something like that, you, you have a good feeling when you get to it. And, There's nothing like and it. And you can have that same kind of feeling mm -hmm. here. And the bigger benefit here is that then it allows you to focus on doing the things that you're going to do that are driving your business and making revenue for you. And believe me, when that happens, you're making good money, you're making money, and you're happy. We talked about that. And uh, you're just going to feel that lightness and, again, get focused. We'll talk about focus in the next, uh, the next segment, and, and everybody knows that feeling. Um, we're going to leave the lines open here. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's someone that you know that's listening. We're on, live on Facebook. I, to, I forgot to say hi to everybody out there. <laughs> so for all you guys out there, too, that are listening, please tell somebody about this if it isn't for you. But it is for everyone out there, especially us small people like me. Call in here, 602-277-5369.